Hey. So what I've done here to I've taken the checkbox. Checkbox list. Drag it onto the page. Edit. And then I would add in the way you have it on the paper. Bed park. Okay, so these would represent all the things that the 20 things that people might look for when they're checking in for apartment. So this is what creates this, and then we see save, make a save button. So when we click the save button, we want to collect all those that they would have checked on. To do that, we go here, and we could just simply see. Um, we want to do get all that's checked, right? And the values. So, so we're trying to select this here. So when we click here on this button, we would like to have. Um, the codes on the back here, such true and the well, we just create a string array. This is C sharp, sorry. I should have done it in B, but say what string array call it select value and we put everything that's coming from from this list from this list here. We check through to see how much that has been selected to populate the array to initiate the array. So we did look into the array so for for each um item we do look to to get each item inside the inside this checkbox thing and we populate the array now so we take the values so for the first i0 select value 0 we take the first value to see if it's selected if this is the value selected we put it in right so the, 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 the condition is if it is selected we take it if it is not selected we could also take it but in this case we're just saying if it's selected we take it so for everyone that is checked here this condition We'll take the value and put it here. So if bed is checked, bed will come and get student um, zero position zero in the array. Now then I could strip out the array and do this for each one, and then this is not necessary here. Then I could do a response that will direct when the button is click to page two. That's page two, That's the next page, and I would just say um, this is a query string I'm building here. So my bed, I would match it to the bed here. Alright, this is really excessive code. This could be done better, but um, we're not really concerned about code level refactoring right now. We're just concerned about functionality. So this should show up my bed equal to bed if bed is selected, and we build other for view. So all that we need to do is just copy that and change the variable. So if we want to put the next thing, which is um, let's say view, so um, view packing copy, and then we put let's call it my pack. And that would be equal to. Um, we need to put a plus sign here to concatenate. Put a plus sign in here. Put your out tree. Text. Take the text one there. Okay. So we have three, three things I would do. But in page two here, I have only. I'm just consuming two. So I'm just taking my view and my back with the query string. Request so I'll show this to on the page. Let's quickly run this and see how it works. So I select bed and I say select. Look at the query string. My bed is bed. View is empty. Pack is empty. Okay, let's just go back. I take view. Right. So bed is bed. My view is view. Pack is empty. But pack is already empty, but it's set up. Let's go back. So pack is pack. Now there is a equal sign missing there, but that's fine. So we have everything coming in, and that makes it very easy for us. And this is these values now. We pass it into the query string of the database, and this would go into the database and it would populate only those that was selected from page number one from here. So that's basically what we would use to achieve this.